the still can't get watts. This person looks like they're rowing really well. They're rowing legs, core, arms, arms, core, legs. Can you guys see what I'm doing wrong? This is a really, really hard one. It's hard to see, right? So what the issue is, and this has been more of a new discovery. No, so we'll talk about that. that that's, that's not the issue, though. The, have you guys at the gym done a straight arm lat pull down, where you pull the bar down like this, right? Where do we feel the max stretch on the lats? It's at the top, right? And it's like we almost like sit our hips back to stretch it before we go in. That translates to rowing as well, because if you've got the form down, you've got the sequence down, but you're not connected in your lats from the very start, you miss out on like 20% power. And so the issue that I was doing here is essentially having my hands too low relative to my shoulders. And so what we need to do is we need to try to get this level of shoulder to handle almost parallel. So I want you to see the difference here from how I'm sitting like this to how I'm sitting like this. Do you notice that slight change of where my handle is and my body position? I'm still hinged forward, but I can get a little more lift with the hands to really stretch the armpit out, to really get that lat engagement. And now from here, as soon as I start, the second that I press my legs, the handle is connected. Compared to when I kept my handle low, I press, and it's not until like a half second later that my lats engage in, the arms really straighten out. So notice that, it kind of goes up as I drive. That's what, that is a very common thing for the people that really listen to you, they're trying the sequence, they're super fit, and it's just like, why aren't they getting watts? Why are they still at whatever they are relative to their body size? So I would tell people, I would have people stop at the very front, and I would say, we want to try to stretch out our armpits more. That's the terminology I've been using. And so helping them go with a little bit more of a lift, a little bit more of level handle to shoulder. Something really subtle that you want to work with, with on the people that are more towards like the higher end of like, they get the form, they get the sequence. You know, they're not really victim of these other, of these other issues. Engage your lats more so you can feel it from the start is the idea. So helping them, because I'm not saying to reach more. You don't want to reach more, but if we are sitting properly, which is part of the very beginning with the foot placement and the body positioning, going from here to here is not going to, that's not going to injure someone, or it shouldn't injure someone if they're sitting correctly. And so when they're like this, watch their handle. Is their handle close to these knobs here? Your handle should be carrying in line just above the monitor. Now this is also, um, this translate in, translates in one other way which is another very common thing, and that's going from here down and back. You ever see this? Because you say like, they, they go arms, core, legs, drop. Arms, core, legs, drop. And so this is where when we row, we don't want to have tension in our shoulders on the way back out. And so if you're rowing out straight all the way, it's actually not ideal. And I'm victim of this in the past of coaching this. I say that this handle should go straight in and out of the machine the entire time. But it's not quite the case anymore. Or at least like from a physiological standpoint, you can get away with not carrying it completely straight out, but dropping it slightly to relax your shoulders more so you're not carrying tension up here on the way out. We know that the front deltoid is engaged when we do this. But if we can keep the handle lower, and go for a gradual lift by the front, we're connected. So notice I'm not lifting and going back. It's almost like I tap down slightly to relax my shoulders. I'm not scraping my thighs, but I'm still not engaged here in the shoulders. And the path takes a slow but steady upward trend as I come up. So it's not going from up to down. It's going down to up a little bit at the front. Down to up a little bit at the front. So that's gonna relax the upper body. And then if you, as long as it's a slow and gradual return to the top where the handle is in line with the machine, your handle's not here, it's up here, you're gonna feel that engagement right away. Cool? Cool, I know that's kind of a lot, but 
these, and these have just been different like theories and stuff that have been played with over the, over the last few years. 